Ladies and gentlemen, we are back with another episode here of the Atlanta United career mode. Actually, I need to throw on music in the background, but I'm going to do that while I talk. Joseph Martinez, 23 goals. The next closest is nine. That is absolutely insane. He's, he's scored 23 goals in 15 games. It's been absolutely insanity uh, this season so far. But today, we have to play against Philadelphia, and my poor planning on our schedule has led us to be playing with a full second team, basically. I'm going to play Brad Guzan. Actually, no, I'm probably going to play Alec in goal here. Um, it's a little reckless. It is indeed. We're going to make sure we have Joseph Martinez on the bench here. Uh, but other than that, this is the team that we're going to have to go with. Uh, this is the team that is absolutely going to be trying their absolute best here um, to beat third place Philadelphia today. Because, I mean, I, I guess I just wasn't paying attention. But we're playing Philadelphia, and that's our that's our starting lineup. They're all absolutely exhausted. So we're going to be going in with this team, hoping for the best. Ultimate difficulty still. We are at home, and Joseph Martinez on the bench if we really, really do need it. But let's hop into the game and see what we can do against a very strong Philadelphia squad. All right, here we go. I should say, man, I really need to stop like eating spicy food right, be right before I record because it just messes up like my body, my head, my, my mental, my focus. I'm hot right now. You know, I need to turn on a fan probably, but it's not even that hot in here, but just solely because I eat spicy food. You know what it is, man. You know what it is. If you know, you know. All right. Let's turn down that headset a little bit. Make sure we got the music in the background and we are good to go. All right. <clears throat> Again, this is, I mean, this is a Philadelphia squad that is first in real life. They're obviously a very good team, a very strong team in FIFA as well, on top of all of that. So, definitely going to be a hard game. That was an absolutely horrible pass. Um, but going to be a good game, going to be a hard fought game. And hopefully we can try to come out of this uh, on top. We have Williams starting up top, but I might put John Gallagher there, honestly. Elliot. Who should be completing his move to striker this episode, I believe. But we'll see. Oh, that's actually going to be a good counter. He didn't make the pass, though. Thank God. Well, it's one Thank God. <clears throat> Dude, can I get some midfield assistance here, boys? Mm-mm. Nope. Every pass hitting its target. Oh, no. Oh, no. <clears throat> I saw the lane open up. Anton Wax didn't fill in that lane. Look at this just open wide, man. Everybody just walks away from each other and lets them have an open shot on goal. And we're down 1-0 just like that, man. Just freaking like that. We're going to go down line to Castillo. I got Emerson Heidman back post. Oh, I went front post by accident, though. Went front post by absolute accident. Get this out wide. Try to get across in. We're going to get a corner here, though. Let's see what we can do with this corner. Fans are doing the Mexican wave. Oh, give me that header. I Close. Close. Run down line to Brooks Lennon. I see Jake Mulraney back post. I also see Gallagher. Cross. Andre Blake's able to get it. Andre Blake is there to collect or deflect, I guess, not collect. And now we just got to tighten up on defense, make sure they can't get behind us. Shut things down a little bit. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I missed the ball twice. And it's still on for him. Getting forward. Oh no, that's a nice shot, Alec. You have to save those. Oh, maybe I should have played Brad. I wanted to give Alec a chance. He hasn't played much this season. But maybe Philadelphia was not the time to do it. Alec concedes another goal. And we are down 2 0 in the 43rd minute. Gotta tighten up here, boys. All right, here in the 45th minute, end of the first half. See, no added time. And we take a poor 2-0. Uh, uh, what, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Not lead. Deficit? Deficit. I, I've only had one shot this game. 
things need to change. I'm gonna switch up, uh, I'm gonna put Gallagher up top. We're gonna take out Williams. We're gonna bring in, uh, we're gonna bring in Vega or Banks. Let's go Banks, cause I only really need passing right now. Um, and then tactics wise, I'm gonna go ahead and put us up on to 10 depth real quick. These are some of the tactics that I personally enjoy playing in the game. We'll go with that, do that, five with an offense and defense. And let's run things and see what we can do. Hopefully with Gallagher up top now, we can push their back line a little bit more. We're gonna try to hot, uh, hold a higher line, see if they can't get in behind us, if they're gonna play a little too slow. Um, and see if we can get a little bit more control into this game, which I think will help us out quite a bit if we can. Oh, boys, defense. Oh, my God. How does he still get the ball there? Alec is so bad. Alec's so bad this year, man. He's so bad. Oh, my God. And I accidentally just passed to the wrong freaking player. This game is scrapped. 3-0. We have almost no chance in coming back at this point. We're just not playing well enough in this game. We don't have the right players. And you can absolutely tell that Philadelphia is using their full starting lineup against our uh, full B team, basically. Oh, my God. Is it going to require Joseph Martinez that I'm not even sure can really truthfully affect this game as much as we need him to? Give it down to Jake Mulraney, though. Cut this ball in. Go into Jake. Oh, I thought our center, center mid was going to make a run there. We're going to go out wide to Castro. Castro is going to take it out wide. I Not enough pace. Not enough pace, but we keep the pressure. Into Banks, down to Gallagher, back to Banks. Banks misses it. His op his first opportunity as a professional in the Atlanta United jersey, rocking the number thirty. Not able to score. Seventieth minute. Um, Gallagher is not playing bad. I kind of don't even want to take him off, but I am going to throw him at left mid. We're going to bring on Joseph Martinez, which is probably not a great idea because I we're not going to score three goals, but I'm going to do it anyways. See if we can maintain the deficit and hopefully uh, carry on a decent match here. Let's get a good header. Hold this ball up. That is the end of the game. 3-0 it is. We managed to change some tactics in the second half, maintain the ball a little bit better. I think we need to start playing at that 10 depth, holding that higher line. Uh, the pace your teams might be able to take advantage of us, but our starting lineup does hold a little bit better of a formation. Um, so I do think it'll benefit us greatly to continue on with, uh, with that style of team. But... Uh, I'll go ahead and make those changes. We'll hop into the next game after a few days of training and uh, see what we can do coming up in our next matchup. All right, our next matchup here is against Columbus Crew. Another very, very big matchup for us here in the East. I feel like it's just constantly game after game. Uh, teams that are as good, if not better than us. And Columbus Crew ranks up there, man. They might be uh, they might be one of the teams that we uh, genuinely need to watch out for. And a team I'm not sure that we can beat, but we're definitely going to put our f uh, best foot forward. Joseph is 11 goals off of the record of 34. We're going to keep pushing forward here. We're going to see what we can do uh, and see if hopefully we can get a big boy win here against uh, Columbus Crew away from home. Even. We are playing on the 10 depth as well, so we'll see. This is a very good test with the likes of Zardes in the squad uh, to see what we're really looking at with uh, pacier sides that could definitely uh, hit the ball over top of us if need be. Oh, that was a beautiful through ball. I pulled my Robinson the wrong way and we're one nil down. I tried to manually defend way too much. And just like that, we are down one nil to the big boy Columbus crew, which is not good. Uh, the pace definitely had a little bit of an effect there, but that was more so just manually defending and not defending enough with my uh, center defensive mids, which I definitely need to make sure that I'm doing a little bit more often for sure. Just making sure that we're using them. 
uh, oh, yeah. leveraging their talents as the defenders and making sure we take control of that midfield once and for all. Oh, Rosetto is doing so well to keep the ball. Rometty. Ah. Oh. Joseph set him up nicely, but it is Rometty at the end of the day trying to take that shot. Not quite Marcelino uh, Moreno or, uh, or Barco in that situation for sure. Behind the back line, well Jurgen Dam. What did what just happened? What was that movement? What was that movement, boys? Oh my God, Miles! I don't know why I tried to pass with you. I apologize. Zardes. Got him. All right, end of the first half. We are still one nil down, but we have had the majority of the chances. Um, it feels like in this first half. So we're not far off from scoring. Just need Joseph Martinez to get behind that back line. And then we'll really be making uh, true movements and really starting to attack properly. Joseph Martinez has been a little bit more of a, a, a facilitator of sorts. Just kind of passing that ball. Opening up passing lanes here and there. But those are the types of runs I need. And he almost got there. So close, man. Oh no, <gasps> what a save from Brad, thank God. 62nd minute and it's still one nil and almost two nil. Corner opportunity here for Columbus. Gotta tighten up, we're giving up too many chances here and it's uh, it's gonna come back and bite us here shortly if we don't if we don't figure things out and start moving forward in the right direction. Guys, what is going on? from Major League Soccer to come on That's how wide to Barco. Going inward. Get it out to Bello. Bello back into Barco. Barco takes it wide. What a shot. Pulls both of the defenders. Gets the space and powers it through into the right netting. 1-1. Ezekiel Barco gets us back in the game. Our first goal of the episode, which sounds so weird to say. Uh, for a team that never seems to have issues the space that he created with that little bit of a skill move was able to get him that shot into the right netting and that is his eighth goal on the season coming up huge for us here in columbus still have a chance to win this game oh, that's a nice pass oh that's a nice pass that's a nice breakdown oh what a save for brad oh and Meza gets the ball off let's go let's go dude we're going to go out wide to Jurgen Dam. I see Joseph Martinez making an absolutely beautiful run. Back post, power, cross. Joseph boots it over the top of the net. Oh, dude, it was such a good cross. Perfectly timed. All Joseph had to do was stick his foot out, but he put a little bit too much power in behind it, and it's still 1-1. This game has been very end-to-end, -end, very exciting stuff, and I think we can still come out of this with a win. But honestly, I would not be mad with a draw the way this game's been going. All right, down line, Joseph Martinez this time. Can you keep it in for one? Cross that in. Barco back post. Barco gets two if he's on side. Yes, he is. 85th minute Ezekiel Barco coming up huge for goal number nine. Joseph Martinez on the right wing, switching. Uh, for the moment with Jurgen Dam in that counter attack, gets it back post. Joseph Martinez hits the shot that Joseph, er, wait, Ezekiel Barco hits the shot that Joseph Martinez couldn't hit, and we are two one up finally in the game. Two goals from Ezekiel Barco, 86th and 66th minute. Let's go, baby. Now we just gotta lock it down and win the game. Lock it down and win the game, baby. Let's go. We're into added time. Two minutes of added time here. All they've been doing is holding the ball since getting it back. And we get it. Ref should be calling the whistle here very, very soon. Just get a nice little counter attack. Make sure we're holding the ball. Create some space for Ezekiel Barco. Who scuffs his rainbow flick. But we get the win and that's all that matters. 2-1 Atlanta United over Columbus Crew in Columbus. So we lose to, to Philadelphia using our B team. Um, but come back huge with nine shots, five shots on target, 35% possession. We gave them a lot of the ball. They, they controlled a lot of it. 
um, and I wasn't too confident in our tackling and the way things were going, so I just kind of let them have it, sat back with our defense, and did what we needed to do, and that gives us the win. In the next episode, we'll be playing against Montreal, going up against Thierry Henry and the boys in blue. But that's where we're going to leave it for today's episode. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And until the next one, I'll see you guys later. Peace. Is it my fault?